Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Root Designs. This is week 18 in the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner. Uh, so welcome. Um, this week, something that people collect, a geometric shape with at least five sides, something featuring a clock or time-related element, text in a foreign language, something with a spine, and then a flower. So let me show you what I have gathered. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Just uh, so it's not so big and bulky. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, so something people collect. All right, now these are all out of my Daphne Diary magazines. Don't ask me what magazines I got them out of. I, I do not know. I pulled these when in January when I had my foot surgery. <laughs> so um, something people collect. This is from, this is a herbal honey. Uh, must be a tea, something to do with tea. So this is my teacup, people, because people collect teacups. A geometric shape with at least five sides is this tag. All right, this has at least five sides. Something featuring a clock or time-related element. I have this here that I cut out of one of Daphne's magazines. Right here, I just think this is a really pretty image. Um, and I also cut this bird out. Something with a spine is the bird. So I have the bird. Um, I also have this little gal here. This is from, I'm just going to trim her up a little bit. This is from, by J. Lee Lu. Um, these are her digital paper dolls, and I just love them. I will put the link for you in uh, the description. I have used her images in other, come on, Barb, I'm just going to do this right. Um, in other things that I have done and she has I think the most adorable paper dolls images um, and these just make me happy I actually purchased these to do Um, some fun projects over on my Patreon and I thought they would be really cute in my um, when we do the I call it Bible journaling it is Bible journaling to me some people might call it other things something else but um, my my prayer journal has kind of gone in a different direction um, so I'm going to use some of these on my here doing some things on my YouTube. And then when I want to make something really fun and special, I'll, I'll take them over to Patreon. Okay, all right. So I also have her. She has a spine. Isn't she adorable? And then... Uh, the bonus is a flower. I have flowers everywhere, but I wanted to... These, again, are by J. Lee Lu. Um, these are some of her ephemera that come with the paper dolls. And then I have a little heart. And I have a scrap paper left over from my um, crossword puzzle collage. So let's get started. And I want to thank everyone today for stopping in. I really enjoyed all of your responses um, when I asked about the Marguerite Miller, what you liked about it, and so on and so forth. Oh, and we also need text in a foreign language, which I have right here. We will put that in the end. Um, And yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for um, joining me today. I appreciate it very much. All right, I think that'll be good right there. I'll bring this down just a little bit. 
and I know you all like the Marguerite Miller challenges. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen a Marguerite Miller um, collage challenge yet, you she will give you these prompts right here, and you can get them over at her Etsy site. It's um, I, want, I always want to say Mellow Yellow. <laughs> um, it's Mellow Miller, I believe. And um, you can run, she has three or four years of prompts on there. And you can run them off and use them. Oh, yeah. And thank you to all of my gals that keep coming back that enjoy the Marguerite Miller. And um, a shout out and a thank you to my Patreon gals. You must feel like you've been bombarded this week because, like I said, with me going away, um, you get early access. Some of you get early access to the videos. So you must be like, oh my gosh, she's just pumping them out. I think I can put that there. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take my chance and just slap her down. If any of you speak Italian, you already know what that says. I will tell you afterwards what it says. I will tell you afterwards. I have to get... I took Italian lessons from a gal that speaks fluent Italian years ago, and I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden... I think she was going to Italy, and our group, there was only four of us, and the group got dismantled, and when she came back, um, we never picked it up again. So I went out and I bought books, and I had a, I don't know if it was a Rosetta Stone or if it was the book there, but... I learned, you know, the basics. So when we went to Italy, it was very easy for me to, you know, we were driving around. And so, of course, they, where we went, they all speak English anyways. But at least I was able, you know, on menus and things like that. I knew some of the stuff. I wasn't, you know, wasn't f fluent in it, but I, I, I knew I could get by. All right, and I'm thinking. I want to put this one leaf over here. spam call. That's my house phone. And it's just spam, spam, spam. We still have a landline. And we have to have a landline. Because we have a gate to our the entrance of our home. And that controls opening and closing the gate when people come. So we have to have a landline. Okay, we'll put that there. I like those little those little leaves. Okay. All right. 
So next, um, I wanted to put my little gal, tuck her legs under there, but that's okay. That's okay, no big deal. All right, I want to put this bird right here on the edge of the, so I'm going to do half of him on that teacup. And he's just kind of perched there. That whole thing is just perched there. I left this open here so I can get her tucked in here. And then we have this here. So we'll get her tucked down. All right, so I'm going to get her, let's get her down. I think we'll be safe by... I don't think I have to tuck anything behind her. In these images, I did run off on um, photo paper. Okay. Okay, all right, so she's going to go here like that. And we can put this little bird down now, finish gluing this down. Okay. I do like using the Daphne's diary images. As long as I, um, I don't pigeonhole myself and I don't get stuck. Sometimes I can find them, sometimes I, I can't. And I do like using other, I think this um, style goes really nice uh, with the Daphne's Diary images. And I think these colors just went perfect. This is Mary. Doesn't she look like a little Mary? Little Mary. With her little bird. Mary loves her tea. She loves her tea. And of course, silly girl. Like I said, I was using my cement on this, so if I can clear a little spot on here. I'm doing okay because I need to tuck this. I need to tuck this down in here and over the top. And I'm not going to fussy cut this out much anymore. I kind of like the way, you know, just this style is where it has a lot of the white around it. So we'll put that there, and we're going to put this one We're going to put that one right like that, okay? So there. All right. You don't, when you fussy cut, you don't always have to go right to the very edge. You can leave a little bit of white. This one here. Put that right there like that. Isn't that cute? I love these sweet little pages. I like I really enjoyed last week's. This is the kind of work I like to do. I like to do all kinds of work. And I'm gonna put that little heart right here. Right there. 
That's cute. So that, my friends, is this week's. This would make such a sweet little um, journal page as well, or if you were doing a glue book with your favorite um, images. But this would make a really cute journal page, junk journal, or just a journal. I don't have. I don't put junk in mine. I don't have enough junk. So there you have it. We have. Um, Something that people collect, we have the teacup. I will tell you what this is. A geometric shape with at least five sides. That's the tag here. Something featuring a clock. Um, text in a foreign language. And this is Adoro una bella taza de te. It, the translation of that is, I want you to think about it for a minute, okay? Because we're going to go to the collecting. What are we collecting, huh? Collecting a teacup. So this says in Italian, I love a nice cup of tea. That's what they says. That's what that says. Adoro una bella taza de te. Um, we have a flower, which we have flowers all over the page here. Something with the spine is the bird and the um, gale. We have our foreign language text, and that is it. So that completes this week's. Um, I'm going to stamp it. And this is week 18, so we're changing this to 18. And we will put a little stamp. And I like leaving the white up here. I, I do like the white. Um, we're going to put this over here, and then this is the match to it. Um, and I think we're going to put it right down here. Right there. I think that's good. All right, everybody. Well, again, thank you for joining me for another Marguerite Miller collage. Um, yeah, this is really cute. And I just, I appreciate you all. I want you to have a wonderful week. Um, I'm sending hugs and blessings your way. And I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.